All right, guys, I'm going to show you a problem that we see in some cooling systems uh, with the cooling towers if the towers are mounted separately. If you all have ever worked on any kind of a chilled water system where the towers are separate, you can see that we have a problem here with one of the towers overrunning. Now, this system currently is not up to full capacity. The weather is milder out, so we only need one chiller and since we're only running one chiller we only need one tower the problem that we have here is that the isolation valves this is one of them here and the other one is over on the other side you can see that conduit over there it goes down to that other isolation valve our problem is that one of these two valves is not closed this tower is not in service the other tower is but the, uh, this tower is the one that's overflowing. The reason for that is there's basically too much water in the system. The other tower is starving for water due to the valve being open, so it is running the makeup to try to fill itself back up, but since these isolation valves are not fully closed, then our problem is that the water is gonna migrate into this tower and then overflow it and while we starve the other tower. So what we're going to do is actually get in here and see if we can get these isolation valves closed off fully as they should be. Now we are going to test our adjustment and this switch here is the switch for fully open and the back switch is the switch for fully closed. This is the status of this valve. What we're gonna do now is actually take this valve back closed. So I am going to right click on my command point, more commands, and I've already got an override for open. So all I need to do is just release this override you can see that the motor is running and just to give you an indication of what happens when I push this limit switch it stops so when I release it it's going to continue to run until that cam actually makes that switch and once the cam makes that switch the valve will stop moving and uh, once again, I am not a big fan of this type of a valve actuator. Uh, any type of a movement in those cams and just some of the slop that is in that type of a system does not allow these things to open and close as fully as they should be. With that adjustment made, however, you can see that we are currently not overflowing the tower so that is going to help the problem tremendously and again this problem only appears when we are running tower one uh, in the configuration that we have it now and of course this guys if you have any questions drop those in the comments below i will try to answer as many as i can although the uh, cooling tower systems, chill water systems in general are very application specific uh, even though there are some basic fundamentals. Just uh, leave me any comments or questions down below. Anyways guys, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time.